can't. You can't put that. Yeah, you, you can't can. do yeah, it. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> it wasn't JID. <laughs> if that's what you're, if that's what you're you implying, that? if that's what you're implying, <laughs> excuse me. Right. No, but I think snap. I think JID snapped. Yeah, he snapped. Dreamville. Let's let's talk about Dreamville uh, X two, okay? Yeah. I like saying X two. <laughs> the <laughs> first one was we had a we got a ten year anniversary. That's right, we very did important tape. The warm up. Uh, my first time listening to J Cole was the warm up. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lights please was the track that I was I heard it and I was like I really like this. It's very very fucking relatable. Mm-hmm. I th- I literally thought that was like me. He was like rapping me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, I, I've liked uh, J. Cole ever since. That was one of his first songs to really catch some serious, st- you know, yeah, traction too. Yeah, that was definitely a song when I heard I was like, oh yeah, this is the shit. I didn't know he was going to like take it as far as he did, but. That was back when he kept a lineup, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I kind of miss Drake with the, I mean, uh, J. Cole with the fresh cut. Yeah. Yeah. Not anymore. Yeah, he's out of here. Those he days even, are gone. He don't even smoke weed either. I don't know. <laughs> he's just <laughs> dreading it up for no reason. Dreadhead. Yeah. That was a good mixtape, though. Yeah. With no <laughs> herbal essence. Yeah. That was the first time that I heard somebody other than Kanye do the uh, the outro track, like Kanye. Yeah. And then Logic did it recently. And I was like, all right. <laughs> It was cool when J. Cole did it. That's a little over the top now, Logic. Um, (laughs) But no, shout out to Warm Up. It was was a great mixtape. Um, uh, Now we're going to get to uh, to the two new tracks. So Dreamville dropped two new tracks. Uh, One is um, with Ty Dolla Sign, Ari Lennox, Dreezy, Omen, and... Was there anybody else? I think that was it. That was it. Okay. Yeah. That was Got Me. Got Me. Good R&B. This is good R&B. Track. Yeah, Omen fire. sounds good on there. Because uh, you know what, man? Dreamville's been kind of moving in the past year. Mm-hmm. Omen's been kind of quiet. I almost I almost didn't think he was on Dreamville anymore. I thought that he probably had gotten- Moved on. Released. Yeah, released. He you know, decided he was going to do his own thing. Maybe he was done rapping. But no, he's still there. So I, I was actually happy to hear- Omen rapping on that track and yeah, yeah. I know that it's probably gonna get a little bit of radio play so I'm happy to see Omen get a little bit of uh, get a little bit of shine shine yeah I definitely that. I hear that um, track so, number yeah. two <laughs> listen don't no, no, no y'all wanna talk about got me or yeah nobody wanna talk about that <laughs> I do J I D let's 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 hear what, 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 hold hold your, hold your horses old Fine, town road this, this is quick. <laughs> Fi, your Ari sounds amazing. She does. She sounds great. Ty sounds great. I didn't know how I, I didn't know how Ari was gonna sound because you know you hear her album and it's good. It's not bad. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's really good. But I don't know how she's gonna sound on the big stage. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to like commercial success and all that, you know what I'm saying? It's a different. It's a different different game you know what i'm saying oh, definitely, yeah she's kind of more of like the i don't want to say underground but kind of more the indie vibe you know what i'm saying more indie, yeah, yeah yeah uh and that that like proved that okay you know what she could probably rock in the commercial world. elevate yeah definitely, definitely. oh yeah. yeah i rocks with it um it definitely sounded good it was a great track together they they, they actually sounded good together doing mm-hmm. that track yeah, yeah. Ty dollar Ty, Ty is Ty. Yes, he bl- he bl- <laughs> he blends in with he, he like he's, like, he's a fucking chameleon. Yeah. Chameleon. He yeah. fucking any track he gets on, he kind of blends into it really well. Why is that nigga so good? There's no feature he can't do. I've Straight never up. I've never heard Ty Dolla Sign was like that shit. What is this bullshit? Until you hear his own the man is undefeated. I know, right? But no, he it, sounds good on there too. It just doesn't get. It's crazy. It's so yeah. crazy to oh, me, yeah. dog. It's like, how I don't do you kill every shit. feature yet? Like. Yeah, not that his solo projects are crap. It's nah, just different. They're, just, they're not crap. Just, they're just not crap. They're just not. They're just not what he does on his features. That's the difference. It's like when you hear his features, it's like a whole different level than what you hear in his own own albums. To me, sometimes it's like that's how I felt about late Buster Rhymes. 
you know, he was like features killing it. Then, then he gets his albums and it like, a little off, right? You know, it's like it wasn't it wasn't bringing it as much. So that's how I kind of feel. <laughs> you know what's high. what's making its rounds? What was making its rounds uh, hmm. this weekend? Uh, the song Bust Rounds did with Q Tip. I want to thank you. When you hear the song, you'll know it. Okay, yeah. It's got yeah. Kanye and, and Wayne in the video kind of introducing each of them. Okay, okay. You've I seen know what song you're talking seen about. You've seen this before, yeah. It just never really got big, but it's I remember hearing again. that going, this was a fire-ass track. Yeah, it I was. I completely forgot about that track. It was a good track. Q-Tip. Old school. Uh, Shout out to Q-Tip. Yeah. Um, but no, Ari Lenny sounds good. Shout out to Ari. Now, let's get down to brass fucking tax. All right. Let's get to where I was trying it's to. What get. we all yeah. here for, niggas? Let's uh fast yes, forward back today. to where I was. For all the rap heads out here, yes. okay? Dreamville also dropped a yes. very rap, rap, rap ass track. Okay. Yes, it was. I like to see this. It had JID, Boss, Cole, Earth, Earth Gang. Gang, and who else was it? Young Nudie. Young <laughs> Young Nudie. Yes. Right. Um, I want to hear Reefus take fire. <laughs> to drop fire like Dylon. Okay, let's like. let's let's do this. Who was the weakest? <laughs> you can't you can't put that. Yeah, yeah, you, you can't can. do it. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> if it wasn't JID. <laughs> if that's what you're if that's what you're implying. That. If that's what you're implying. <laughs> excuse me? Right. No, but I think snap. I think JID snapped. Yeah, he snapped. I think he definitely outshined yeah. everybody on that track, including Cole. <laughs> Yeah, JID, he had that, he had that moment like he was, he was killing it, and then all of a sudden he snapped. And he just like yeah, he oh, snapped. Shit, wordplay crazy, bars, bars, lyricism, that whole. Uh, I'm a fan of JID. Uh, Board of Education versus Brown. I was Board of Education. <laughs> yeah, he just snapped. Snapping, my goodness, he he was staying open right then. <laughs> he was fucking snapping. He's ready. He's been ready though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Oh, he has. Yeah, yeah you could tell. I've been a fan. The moment he's my homeboy just, put me on to like, him, when my homeboy put me on to him, he just fucking, that shit was like a relief for him, dog. Hey, my, well, my homeboy, uh, Duchesne put me on to him, and when he did, ever since then, me, I was like, okay, because I, I was sleeping on him. Right. I, I actually had never, I hadn't heard of him, yeah. honestly. And when so he put you don't know about that. Like, you won't find that Dreamville, that Dreamville wave, baby. Well, see, yeah, I, I wasn't looking for all the, the, the crew, you right. know what I'm saying, where the squad, where, you know, a lot of times, people have a squad, but they don't necessarily step up. To, Drake to, to, to he oh, didn't sorry. have a squad. Like, okay, <laughs> they, don't, they don't say he did. Okay, right. uh, but no, no they, they don't step up to to the plate like the 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 one that's putting them on, right. you know, per se. But he got a squad. Like, yeah, I wasn't checking for him, and like he actually got a good squad. You know, everybody. I think a lot of people been sleeping, not been sleeping, but has slept on a lot of these artists that J. Cole has put been, you know, getting together. Because it's a lot of them well, are Boss, Boss has, has been, he's been making some noise. Yeah, he's been making noise. Earth Gang. Omen hasn't really done too much. Earth Gang is just kind of getting They're kind of starting wet. to get their shit, yeah. Yeah. Ari, she's kind of getting her feet wet, too. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I would, I would say that, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. It's like, so now it's like, I think it's time. And that's what they're doing. You know, that's what he's doing right here. He's like, he's opening the door right here for that. That's right. what I believe this is. Like my squad needs to be put some respect on my squad. So immediately when I heard that song, I was just like, "Well, what the fuck are you gonna do now, TDE?" <laughs> That's Bounce immediately back. what yeah. I oh, went yeah. to. Oh yeah, you where have the to think fuck that. is TDE? You have to think that because. That's the that's been no the squad that's of now. You know what I'm saying? Like right. everybody's like, "All right, TDE's holding it down." They but we haven't shit. had that. Let's snap. Where did, you know what I'm saying? But didn't Schoolboy say in an interview that we're not going to get that project with all of them on there? <laughs> oh my gosh, dog. He's, he, I forget which. I don't know if it was the one with Charlemagne or someone else. But I'm he pretty sure he said that. we're not getting that. He did say that. Why? What the fuck is going on? What is wrong? Why is everybody got to be separate? <laughs> what is up with these niggas? I don't know, but I'll tell you what. After hearing these two, I said, okay, uh, Revenge 3 is not going to do it for me. I need the whole sessions. Yes. <laughs> I need the whole thing. Yeah. Listen, I, listen. I want it all. I'll determine what doesn't need to be on there. With so I'll determine. Hell yeah. Let me let me let me decide. Uh, that would be played. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, what what ends up coming out of that is like kind of that like Kanye, the uh, Good Fridays kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. You just kind of keep dropping like a bunch of just tracks where there's a bunch of people on there because I didn't even think these would, would sound as good as they. 
both of these tracks. You know, yeah. after, I didn't know what to expect. I, was, I didn't know either. After nah. hearing these two, this really made me even more curious of the, you know, this, what, seven, ten days that they were there doing all this. Right. What it must have been like just walking in and out of these different rooms. Yeah. Like, right. like, you're walking going to in one and out of these. Like, oh, my yeah. God. What's going on in here? And then you walk another one. You're like, oh, y'all are just I'm at, tearing it up in here. Imagine the session is going on and you we walk in right when J.I.D. starts snapping. Oh, shit. You're just like, oh, shit. <laughs> like, you're like, yeah, I'm in the right yeah. place. Yeah. <laughs> If I like just walked in the room while that was happening, I'd just be like oh, and close the door. Like, I don't want to ruin this. I don't want to ruin this. Yo, imagine if you walk in and then like he snap it and you do some clumsy ass shit. Oh, uh, so you knock something over and make it. Yeah, you knock juice into the it's fucking the, the, soundboards and shit. Like, yeah. Oh, like, yo, fuck. you fucking up. You're bro. out. You're yeah, out. You're out. That's your, you're that not, was your opportunity. That was you fucked it. up. Gotta go. You right. definitely fucked up. You were, um, you, you were there and you're out. Shouts out to Dreamville, though, man. I really like the direction they're going. They're coming, man. They yeah. are coming. Oh, they're coming. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's making me forget about TDE, Sam. So. It feels like a tsunami's coming. Yeah. <laughs> They killed it, man. I'm just saying. They definitely Cole killed, killed it. it too. I liked his line where he was like, uh, "We came from uh, uh, Dreamville. We came from nothing." Like the Big Bang Theory. I really like that line. You know, the, no, we I, came from nothing like the Big Bang no, 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 that's Theory. A bar. That's a bar. That's a bar. That's a bar. The, Neil deGrasse man. Tyson will facts. be proud. Those you talk because you mentioned facts. the TDE, and this is no disrespect to anyone in TDE, and we like a lot of their stuff, but. The way that things have been moving, it's just starting to feel a lot more like Kendrick and TDE, whereas this is Dreamville. Mm, yeah. Like, you have, like, a lineup, a bunch of people standing shoulder to shoulder. Like, Kendrick is too big. No one's ahead. Yeah, like, Cole kind of being, like, the, the mastermind of it and, like, the original one is still, like, mm. a maybe sit on a slightly higher step. Right. But I still feel like it's a lot more... Even. People like shoulder to shoulder, ready to just give you some work. Okay, I feel you. Where it's more yeah. like you know, where TDE yeah. is Kendrick and the boys. I don't yeah. know because I kind of feel like, I mean, you know, J Rock was in there for uh, Schoolboy. He's good. Schoolboy's good. Scissor's good. Um, Isaiah Rashad, sir, a lot of them. But right. it's just like, it just feels like he's so much bigger than 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 everybody else. else. Yeah, I can do that. Cause, yeah, I can see that. The J Cole definitely. Kendrick definitely he's big, that. but he ain't. He he keeps yeah. himself humbled almost in a sense where he stayed. Not to say Kendrick doesn't, but you know J yeah. Cole has definitely stayed in a different level where he hasn't necessarily elevated to where Kendrick Kendrick's fucking he blew the fuck up. He He's got, out he of got here. Soundtrack, yeah. you know Black Panther. He got uh, the albums that yeah, fucking just, have messages have like on, like strong. He, he he took it to a different level. He did, and yeah. J Cole kind of. I, I feel like he can take it to that level and he has taken it to that level on tracks and verses and shit, but he just steps back. He's definitely not getting as much fanfare. Yeah. yeah, definitely. But definitely. I think it's, that's purposely done that way. Oh, yeah. Cole yeah. is comfortable where he's at. That's how I feel it, that. I feel it, that. It definitely makes me sad that they said, like, you're not going to get this project from TD. It's just not happening. That is sad. <sighs> Disappointingly sad. If you want to roll out the carpet for Dreamville, we're going to let you. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. exactly what's happening. <laughs> guess right. we, guess happening. we got Dreamville. <laughs> right. I'll be all right. This is how I felt when 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 Romo got injured, and I was like, I was in. like, we got Dak. <laughs> man, we're we're good. That's how I feel. We got Dreamville. Um, but shouts out to them, man. Um, <clears throat> let's move on to screens falling real quick. Uh, yes.